Hello and welcome to the place where we bring you the most thought-provoking discussions and insights on various topics. Today, we have a topic that has been generating a lot of buzz lately, Gasara and Nesra. Many have heard these terms, but few truly understand what they entail. In this video, we will demystify these concepts and provide you with a comprehensive overview of what Gasara and Nesra are all about. So, let's dive right in. To start off, let's clarify what Gasara and Nesra stand for. Gasara stands for Global Economic Security and Reformation Act, while Nesra stands for National Economic Security and Reformation Act. These are two sets of proposed economic reforms that have gained attention in various conspiracy theories and online communities. It's important to note that Gasara and Nesra are not officially recognized laws or acts in most countries. Instead, they are frequently discussed in alternative media and have become a subject of speculation and conspiracy theories. The origins of Gasara and Nesra can be traced back to the late 20th century. Nesra was first proposed in the 1990s by Harvey Francis Barnard, who claimed it would abolish the Federal Reserve System, eliminate income taxes, and provide a more equitable financial system. On the other hand, Gasara is often associated with Nesra but is portrayed as a global version of the same concept. Gasara is said to involve similar economic reforms on a global scale. Now, let's take a closer look at the key concepts and proposed reforms within Gasara and Nesra. Firstly, both Gasara and Nesra propose abolishing the Federal Reserve System. Advocates argue that this would end the control of central banks over the economy. Secondly, debt forgiveness is a significant component of both Gasara and Nesra. The idea is to relieve individuals and nations from their financial burdens. Another key concept is the elimination of income taxes. Proponents believe that this would free up more money for individuals and stimulate economic growth. Lastly, both Gasara and Nesra propose the establishment of a new financial system that is more transparent and equitable. While these ideas may sound appealing to some, it's essential to mention that Gasara and Nesra have faced significant criticism and skepticism from mainstream economists and experts. One major criticism is the lack of legal recognition. These acts have never been passed into law in the United States or any other country, despite claims that they have been secretly implemented. Another point of contention is the economic feasibility of these proposals. Critics argue that implementing such radical changes to the financial system could lead to unintended consequences and economic instability. Additionally, Gasara and Nesra have been closely associated with conspiracy theories, which has led many to view them with skepticism. In conclusion, Gasara and Nesra are concepts that have captured the imagination of many, offering the promise of a fairer and more just economic system. However, it's important to approach these ideas with a critical mindset and be aware of the lack of official recognition and the presence of conspiracy theories. As with any topic, it's essential to conduct thorough research and seek information from reputable sources. While Gasara and Nesra may remain speculative, the conversation around them highlights the desire for positive change in our financial systems. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video has shed some light on the intriguing but controversial concepts of Gasara and Nesra. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video to keep the conversation going. Stay informed, stay curious, and we'll see you next time.